Well, I'm not dead. Hey guys, how you doing? It's been a little bit since I've been around. More like, uh, five months. What you doing, Riley? So, obviously, I've been wanting to get back into filming videos, and shit happened. Like, shit went down. There were reasons why I couldn't film, reasons why I didn't film. I've been, like, six months without posting on this channel or something absolutely ridiculous, and I really want to start posting on this channel again because I really adore doing YouTube, and it's something that I'm very passionate about and something that I love. And before I keep bitching about that, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened, what's been going on in my life the last six months. Obviously, I haven't been posting videos, and I've hardly been on any of my main social media, like, at all. So, I'm sure there are people that are like, is Riley dead? Where's he gone? <laughs> I also made this cup of tea, and yes, the mug says Hank. I don't know why, I don't know where we got it, um, but it's really hot. I'm gonna let that cool off while I film. Life has been incredibly interesting <laughs> recently, and by interesting, I mean kind of bad. You guys all know that I struggle with mental illness. It's something that I've struggled with for basically my entire life and it's something that I've talked about through the entirety that I've had my channel. About six months ago, my brain just went into a really awful, like, downward spiral. I was just doing bad. I was not having fun. I lost, like, all interest in everything. I had no motivation to do anything. I was literally, like, living in my bed. One of the last videos you guys saw of me was my day with depression video and that basically was the kickoff of this six-month journey to I feel like shit. Because <laughs> that happened basically every day for a couple months after I posted that video, and it just really, really, really actually sucked. So my motivation's been low. I haven't had a lot of creativity. There really hasn't been a lot that I've been doing. I've just kind of been trying to exist, doing the little things that I have to do to manage in my everyday life, making it to my doctor's appointments, making it to my therapy appointments. But anything extra, like filming videos or, you know, having a hobby just is not a thing. Well, it wasn't a thing. It is a thing now. I honestly can't tell you what happened. I think it was just a slump in my mental illness. That's a thing that happens. I go from having a really awesome time for a while to having a really horrible time for a while, and that's just how my brain works. But I'm back now, and I'm feeling a little bit better. I got to feeling like actual crap, like so bad. I was so down in the dumps, and even recently, like in the last couple weeks, I've dealt with episodes of of, like, trigger warning, warning, I'm gonna be talking about stuff that is triggering, I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video. I was dealing, even recently, with, like, serious self-harm, suicidal urges, and that's just something that I've always dealt with, with my brain. Um, and obviously I've been reaching out to my family members, my support system. I'm still here, we're good, I'm safe, we're cool. I'm still on track for being three years clean on February 5th, so I feel like, through all that I've been through, the fact that I'm still on track for that, I'm super proud of myself. But shit's been hard, especially because I've been dealing with a lot of those urges coming back way more than normal. And I think that's another reason why I wasn't really creating content, because I really don't like to create content when I'm not in an okay headspace, because I really don't want to, like, spread negativity over my channel where it's supposed to be a positive channel or online where there's already so much negativity anyway that I really don't want to contribute to it. But I think talking about my life is one thing and it's like I need to understand that talking about the negative things that are happening in my life might help me cope with them. I don't know. Either way, about three, four months ago, so I had like two months that were really really awful. And then about four months ago, it started to slowly trickle back up into, wow, I'm stable. Wow, I'm okay. I think the main reason for that is that I started to be around a lot of people a lot more often. I started to hang out with my friends more, like, literally every day. Like, I see my best friends basically every single day right now. I've met some really awesome people recently online, and I've connected with people, and it's been really good, and I've been expanding my social arena, but not in a strictly online format. I've met people in support groups that are in my area, and then we I go to the support group, and I meet them, and they, there's just, like, a lot of stuff. So, like, I'm connecting online, but, like, it's all expanding into in real life, which is not something I've really done before. Having people to talk to and having friends is a really nice thing, guys. But because of that, I started kind of getting with it more, and I started taking my meds regularly again, because that was something that I wasn't doing at the time, and I started seeing my therapist regularly again, and it slowly started to build back up into okayness where I am now. It also really helps. You guys know that my sleep schedule is absolutely 
fucked for a while. Like, it was so bad. I was not sleeping, or I was sleeping way too much, and I was sleeping till like 4 p.m., and it was just really awful. I am proud to say now that most nights I am in bed before 11 p.m., and I'm waking up at like 8 a.m., like a little bit before 8, a little bit after 8. That's a pretty damn good schedule for somebody who has severe insomnia and nightmares. So, like, the fact that it's been happening like naturally the last two months and I haven't had to set alarms or any of that shit, I'm really proud of that. <laughs> and then also for a while I was dealing with more things with my binge eating disorder, but then it like magically decided to disappear and now I've lost 35 pounds. So that's cool. I want to make a full video on binge eating disorder because it's something I've dealt with my whole life, but I'm not entirely sure like what to include in it. But either way, I've been getting on track for the recovery from that and I've lost 35 pounds and as somebody who's been like morbidly obese my whole life, that's a really important accomplishment. This entire video is just me rambling and I low-key feel bad, but I really needed to just like talk, get it out, let you guys know what shit's going on so I can get back to actually making content. But yeah, man, things right now are good. They've progressively started to get better. I'm in a better mindset. And also, one of the reasons that I've not been able to, you know, make content and put content out there is because my laptop, the thing that I edit all my videos on, broke. By broke, I mean I was away with extended family for Thanksgiving and somebody pressure cracked it when I was not in the room and then just didn't tell me so I got back into the room and then I opened it and the entire screen was shattered and I was just distraught. But as I'm filming this video, yesterday we took my laptop into the store and it's gonna be sent back in like four days and it'll be fixed so we'll be good and I'll have a laptop to edit videos on so obviously it's gonna be a couple days before this video gets posted but I'll have a laptop to edit on and that's what's important. And I know some of you are like, also Riley, you not only have not been posting videos, but you haven't been on Instagram, you haven't been on Twitter, you haven't been on Tumblr, where the fuck have you gone? And my genuine answer to that is that I have almost completely <laughs> lost interest in mainstream social media. And I think my reason for that is just there's so much like unnecessary negativity and drama and BS and I just like, I'm not interested in 99% of like the pop culture like news that's out. Like people are talking about celebrities, all these TV shows, and it's just not something that I'm interested in. And like unfortunately a lot of the content creators that I've watched are not making content that I thoroughly enjoy anymore so I'm not super down for just scrolling through a bunch of stuff on like Twitter that I'm not super interested in. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've stopped using it. But I have not stopped using social media. I've stopped using my main social media. I'm still 100% active like literally every single day on my regression based social media. I've talked about it here a little bit but I'm an age regressor. It's something ugh, I cope with it. It's a thing that I do. Whatever. I have a link to that channel and info on that in the description if you want to know what that is but I'm not talking about it more here. But I am always active on that social media so it's not like I've given up on social media in general because I'm always there I'm just not on like my traditional social media anymore which honestly I think has been really good for my mental health like I feel better as a person not dealing with all of this mainstream drama and I mean granted on my other accounts there's still plenty of drama and shit going on but like it's shit that I can deal with mainstream drama is not necessarily shit that I can deal with but now fam I just wanted to give you an update let you know that I'm alive I'm still existing I'm here and I am 100% planning on getting back making more content, hopefully getting back on my Tuesday Thursday schedule. Um, the next video that I'm going to be posting after this will be my two or my year post-op. It's obviously a year and a few months post-op, like a year and three months because my uh, one year post-op was in November. But I still have not created that video and there's still like updates and shit that I want to do on that. So that'll be the next video that comes out for you guys. And then I do post and will be posting regular content on my regression channel. So if you want to see that kind of content, there's also a link in the description. And I'm going to attempt to use my vlogging channel again or my side channel. I was using it for a while and it was really good. But I, the, I'm just around a lot of people who don't want to be filmed a lot of the time. So it's kind of difficult to, you know daily vlog and like make content and stuff like that when you're around a bunch of people who are not comfortable being on camera but I will try my hardest to start producing that content as soon as I possibly can. I love you guys a fuck ton a lot and I'm really excited to be back. All my social media is linked down below as I said I don't 
really use it anymore, so if you want to actually keep up with me, my regression social media is probably a better way to go. My Patreon is still linked in the description, and I know it's like, Patreon, you haven't made content, blah. I'm gonna start posting, like, exclusive content on Patreon. I'm looking into making actual, like, exclusive videos just for my patrons and stuff like that. And, plus, boys disabled. And I have bills to pay, and I'm legally not allowed to work because of my disability. So, we have a minor problem, and I'm not asking you for money, but if you want to support my content in more than just watching my videos, Patreon is a cool way to do that, and there are some reward levels up. And there are reward level options, and you can get some shit in return for, like, supporting, and it's really cool. Alright guys, I love you a fuck ton. I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be filming. I will catch you soon, and the only reason I'm saying soon is because I don't know what day this video is going up, and I don't know when my next video is going up. Hopefully I'm going to be on a Tuesday, Thursday schedule after this video goes up because I don't think this video is going to go up on a Tuesday or Thursday, but we'll see. We'll find out. I love you guys. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.